Supported by UBC and St. Paul's Hospital, the Center for Heart-Lung Innovation is using a variety of techniques to understand the heart and lung diseases. The enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA, is a common laboratory technique used to determine the analyte in the patient samples. In this video, I will describe the basic principle of how ELISA works as well as the step-by-step -step procedures to successfully run it. Antigens in the patient sample are attached to a surface. Next, an antibody is applied so it can bind to the antigen, which is linked to an enzyme. Then, the enzyme substrate is added. The subsequent reaction produces a measurable signal, most commonly a color change. So this is how an ELISA plate will look like. The first well is left for the substrate blank, the second for negative control, standard 1, 2, 3, and positive control, and the rest of the wells for patient samples. Each well is replicated to increase the accuracy of the results. The controls and standards will be used to calibrate the sample concentrations. Understood and ready? In the demo, we will use DRG's H. pylori ELISA kit. Vortex the defrozen samples and dilute by a 1 to 10 ratio, and mix. Load the negative and positive controls, standard 1, 2, 3, and diluted patient samples into designated wells. Cover the plate and incubate for 60 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Dump the contents and fill the wells with wash paper. Briskly shake out the wells on stacked paper towels. Repeat this five times. Load the enzyme conjugate into each well except for the blank. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. Again, dump the fills and rinse the wells five times with wash paper. Now load the substrate solution into all wells. Incubate exactly 15 minutes at room temperature in the dark. Add the stop solution to each well. You will see the blue color turning yellow. Immediately read the plate. If your controls and standards are in the right range and your samples of CV value is less than 8.5, you based it. Thank you for watching and special thanks to Dr. Kim, Sarah, Sheena, and the rest of the Sin Lab members who made contributions to this video. Created using Powtoon.